Good morning. So, uh, do you know why I like putting on makeup? It's my time. It's the time I get to just breathe and relax. And the way I sometimes need to do that, because I usually first thing in the morning check my um, self with a little reading. I like the Stoics. And then I get a cup of coffee and take out my dog which is refreshing because my dog is so cheerful little Frankie you know him he's usually back there but he is chewing on a treat and sometimes after all that I um after I check my emails and my text messages for work, unless it's the weekend or evenings, I feel a little pumped. So then it's time to put on makeup and get ready for my office or for my day. And so I just sit and take a breath and feel my weight readjust. And I recognize that my head has weight, my neck is supporting my head, my shoulders, my arms, my chest, all are weight and in alignment and weighted on my bum. And my legs and my feet are relaxed and stable at the same time. And then I get to just breathe and go forth, right? Um, yeah, this is my time to relax, be where I'm at. You know what? I really like this makeup. I just ordered some more. It's the L'Oreal True Match Nude. And um, the little dropper in it is terrible so I took the dropper out off the lid so that I can just do it the old-fashioned way yep I love this for weekends it's a little too shiny for the camera that I have. It makes me look way too shiny. But for weekends, when I just want a natural look, the shine doesn't come across too shiny. It comes across very natural. Why am I telling you all this? because as stressful as life can be sometimes, sometimes it's nice to just get to a place where I can feel calm and in a, at peace. Yeah. <sighs> Breathe and relax. And this makeup is very easy to put on and not have any streaks. It's pretty impressive, actually. It's probably my favorite, and I probably wouldn't wear anything else if it weren't for it being weirdly kind of reflective, shiny in my work camera. Because I love how it goes on. Yeah, that's the truth. And I can put it on with a brush and not go back over it. It's pretty neat. Especially for my wrinkled skin. It's pretty impressive. Well, I hope you all are having a good day. 
I know it's been relaxing and I've already, being a Saturday, I've already gotten laundry done, played with the dogs, got a nice long hot bath. Yep. Just covering up some of my extra scarring. Since that makeup's so light, I'll put a little extra powder on there. I mean, the makeup's light and airy. It's not um, too light in color. I think it's a perfect match for my skin, really. Yep. I found this lipstick on Timu. I have no idea how to pronounce those, um, the words. C-M-A-A. D-U. I don't know what in the world that means, but it's nice and matte and opaque. And since I don't have much lip liner, I can put this on just past my weak lip line. and gives me more of a line. Now it by itself matches the inside of my lip pretty well, but because I'm so pale, it uh, looks a little too dark for my complexion. So what I do is I usually put the tiniest bit of foundation, tiniest bit, tiniest bit. It just lightens it up a little bit. And then when I put my gloss on, This is pretty dry. The shine does the rest. So I'm pretty happy with that. Once I put on my blush. It'll help balance out that lipstick a little bit. that so what are you going to do today to relax not so much that it's about relaxing all day long and not doing anything it's about relaxing enough that I don't let things get to me, right? There's hardly anything, hardly anything that happens in this day and age in my neighborhood that I need to be upset about. If I stay off the news, which is horrible and which there's nothing I can do about, then that takes a big weight off my shoulders. If I watch the news too much, it can be very stressing. Do you ever give yourself a chance to decompress from the news? Try it. Try it just for a day, and then if you can, try it for a couple more days. The big thing is, you might be surprised at how it can lower your stress level. Yes, 
this. It's true. I like to use an eyeshadow that's pretty, pretty tame. And then I can darken it up some. And on a day off, I don't want to darken it too much. I just want it to be easy to put on and easy to wear off throughout the day. Well, my eyeshadow usually sticks pretty good. Pretty good. Yes. I don't, I don't like to have to overdo it too much. And I'm just going along my natural eyebrow because it's a day off and I don't have to impress anybody anyway, right? This is just some brown eyeshadow. And I think because my moisturizer and the foundation, it sort of absorbs it into a texture that, or in a, in a way that looks fairly natural. If someone's looking so close that they can tell that I'm wearing powder, they don't they don't need to look that close. And I just put a little I see that just kind of lightens it up. That's nice. <clears throat> so you're going to relax today? You're going to have some fun today? It's cold out, but the sun's out. It's not too windy. You could go for a walk if you bundle up. Yeah. Just breathe. Just breathe and relax. I like making sure my mascara is on the top and bottom of the lashes. Yep. Thank God for mascara. I love mascara. Because my eyebrows and my lashes have always been so light. It looks like I don't have any. So my mascara is my friend. And I like to go back in, oops, get that brush all thickened up, really full. And then I pull up my eyelashes with my lid and dab down at the bottom, not on the tips at all, just on the bottom. Get that nice and goopy. That kind of gives that false lash look. It's a nice and thick. Yeah. And if I accidentally get on tips, I just pinch the tip. Because I don't want the tips gloppy. It looks like spider legs. <laughs> Not me if I do. Ah, got a couple dots up there. I'm usually pretty careful, but thank goodness for Q-tips. Yay! Better buff that out a little bit. I always put extra right on that big fatty overlid, right? I always get that big fat overlid. See? Those big bags over my eyes. What are they called? <clears throat> they call it um, hooded eye. Whatever. <laughs> So that was my quick and easy makeup. Just took a long hot bath. My hair is still wet. Yep. Put some leave-in conditioner in it. A little extra oil. Olive oil on my ends so they don't dry out too bad. And I'm just going to let it dry and be wild. Yeah. So, thank you for joining me. 
I had a topic this morning and I went to go in the other room to write it down. Um, and I forgot to write it down. I got sidetracked and I don't remember what it was, but I do <sighs> appreciate you joining me today. Turn these off. And now I am going to go look at my to-do list and see what I need to get started on. Frankie's with me. Hi, Frankie. Yeah. I think he's ready for some cuddles. We had some fun this morning, so. He's in a rest mode, thank goodness. And if I think about what I thought about this morning, I'll write it down. And here's the thing. One of the, one of the things I'll share with you is that sometimes we beat ourselves up for not remembering things or um, getting distracted. Is that really necessary? Do we really need to um, give ourselves a hard time? No, not really. I mean, unless you forget your kid's birthday or something. I mean, if you celebrate holidays, there are certain things you don't want to forget. You better write that down. Um, but there's not a lot. We can't just say, oops, I'm sorry, I forgot. Oh, my gosh. Please forgive me. Or that you won't remember at some point. Don't be too hard on yourself today. Celebrate the little things. There are lots of little things to celebrate. And if you can, reach out to someone and just say hi. Hi, I was thinking about you today, right? Be kind to others and yourself. All right, you have a good day.